So let's say good morning to Stevie Wonder and the family who are here at this moment. Uh, and they're, how are you, Stevie? Hi, Lisa. Hello. Hi there. Roxia. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? Yeah. Why don't you? Uh, I'm good. Yeah. Why don't you introduce everybody there with you, okay, Stevie? Okay. Uh, these are my sons, uh, <laughs> Manla and Kylan, <laughs> and their mother Kai. Hello. Hi, Kai. Hi. And. Uh, we Hi, Steve. Hi. Hi, Hi Lisa. Here. Roxia, how are you guys support, doing? To support uh, Kylan's event that he's, he's now having a third annual event of the Kylan Obasi Hoop Life um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fundraiser. Yeah. And uh, basically, I've been in the studio all night, but I said to them I would, you know, come on and hang out with him. But let Kit, you know, Kylan, really, you should do your thing. You should yeah. tell him what this is all about. Well, the Hoop Life Basketball, the third annual Hoop Life Basketball, the third annual Hoop Life Basketball event. So there are <clears throat> there are four teams, and the teams play each other. They play two games, and when the two games are over, the winner. Um, when the two games are over, uh, the two teams play each other for the championship, and then whoever wins that wins with, the championship. With a, with a lot of big names there as well. We should uh, mention here that. Uh, you two as parents, you kind of have like a rule for your kids on their birthdays and about that. Can you, t can you talk, uh, Kai, can you talk about that? Yeah, um, well, we decided when the boys turned 13 that, you know, what else could we give them except for just understanding how to give back. So we came up with the idea that they had to find their own organization that they want to give back to and be very much involved. So. This is Kylan's third year. Uh, well, the first year we didn't do it at that, but then that, this year and last year we did it. So he's now giving back. So that is his birthday, is understanding how to give back. So, and this then helps how? Who is this helping? What's it allowing them to do? Mm -hmm. Well, Kylan, out. Well, what it does is after the team play, we have Morgan Stanley uh, Wealth Financial. They're involved and they donate and they partner up with Kylan. So what happens at the end of the game, we're, allowed, we're able to send about 200 kids to camp. So kids who haven't had the opportunity to go to camp, they go to Malibu, they go to camp and stay for the weekend and understand how to be a better self. And it's really for the, it's really for the All It Takes Foundation. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. And, Kylan was impressed with that. Uh, I guess his mother told him about his mother told him about this organization, and he liked what it was doing, as it was kind of thought of for uh, the the mother, um, Lori Whitley, who whose daughter basically felt that she wanted to do something to help children who were being bullied and uh, being taken advantage of, basically to let them know that every every child matters and every life matters and so um that's kind of how when they told me about it i said y'all come there and watch everybody <laughs> play basketball well as parents but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw any hoops <laughs> hey, you know what hey, people would love to see you you know let me hoops. you mentioned basketball i do want to talk about for a moment the passing of daryl dawkins the great basketball player the man known as chocolate thunder died of a heart attack the reason i bring that up is you're the man who gave him the nickname that was his name forever, Chocolate Thunder. How did that happen, Stevie? Well, you know, I didn't even know that I did that, but uh, <laughs> if I did that, I'm very, I'm very happy that I did it. And uh, if I made any impression in his life, obviously I'm very thankful, but I most of all thank God for just the fact that, um, that I touched his life in some kind of way and uh, just associating the whole thunder want to wonder and all that is is truly a blessing. I'm just very thankful. Well, yes, and you, I celebrate his life. Yes, mm -hmm. you should know. I mean, he was quite a character and a wonderful basketball player. That he always credited you with giving him the name really? Chocolate Thunder. Yes. Oh, I was just going to wow. ask. You know how it is when it's summertime. Parents often want to send their kids to camp, get them out of their hair. But then the kids come back and they've learned some great lessons. What did you notice about your sons when they come back from camp? Well, Kylan went to the basketball uh, camp, and you know he's a lover of that. <laughs> uh, Manla kind of hung out with with uh, with me, <laughs> and 
his other, you know, brothers and sisters in the family and, uh, you know, played with his younger sisters and just had lots of fun uh, doing that and doing voices. He loves doing voices. And actually, we wrote a song together this summer. And he keeps saying that he wrote it, but I know who really wrote it. Can, can we hear it? Can we hear it? Well, actually, no, I, I can't play it because I... Every time, every time I play it, he says he wrote it, so I said, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Well, do I ain't going to do it. you yeah, got to give us something. Give us something. I'll do one that I know I kind of wrote a little bit. Okay, okay. fair okay. enough, Stevie. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Wow, what a treat. Thank you. Third <laughs> annual Hoop Life Youth Basketball Tournament takes place at USC Galen Center Sunday, August 30th from 2 to 4 p.m. Thank you, the whole oh, family. What an